I'm Tom McDonald, Tenants Advocate at the Redfern Legal Centre. If I could say one thing, it's take photos of what your rental property looked like when you moved in and when you moved out if you want to avoid a dispute when you get your bond back. Every year, over 60,000 bond disputes are heard in tribunals or other bodies. That's more than $80 million worth of bond money. Tenants are not responsible for fair wear and tear. You shouldn't have to pay for the results of ordinary use like curtains fading in the sunlight or carpets worn by walking on them. Also, tenants aren't always responsible for the full cost of replacing old, damaged items with new items, even if they cause some damage. For example, you would have to cover the cost of removing carpet stains you left, but you wouldn't necessarily have to pay for new carpet. Generally, it's up to your landlord to prove why your bond money shouldn't be paid back to you. But your position's stronger if you've got your own evidence to show why you're not responsible for the damage. As well as photos, filling out the condition report carefully at the beginning and end of your tenancy could mean the difference between keeping your bond and losing some or all of it. If you're unsure of your rights, contact your local tenants advisory service for assistance.